I'm stuttering. Oh, 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 oh. I'm stuttering. Oh, oh, oh. You know, a brother, like me never uh, usually stutter. I'm stuttering. Oh, nah, nah, uh, nah. and where you currently reside. Okay. My name is Louis Marquesian and I'm a singer-songwriter and I'm from London, um, from Fulham, yeah. How do you start your day? How do I start my day? I start my day by brushing my teeth. I have a bit of OCD, so like I start my day with um, brushing my teeth three times. And I jump in the bath, I scrub myself three times all over again. And then yeah, I get out, grease my body, get right, listen to my music, probably listen to my album when I'm getting ready. I've been doing that a lot lately. And yeah, and then get ready for my day, man. Get in my cab and off to wherever I, I need to be. Who have you forgotten to say thanks for your help to? Um, who have I got to say thanks to? Um, that's like a big list. Um, mainly just everyone. I think everyone in terms of One Extra, all the people that play my songs on One Extra, just all the people that help make the week um, the artist that I am today. Um, in terms of like Lucid, my PR, Jenna, um, Sarah Hall, um, Leah, um, the big man Charlie, um, my management Alistair Davis, and um, yeah, do you know what I mean? Everybody in Sony, I guess, everybody in Sony that kind of helps make this project what it is. The moment you make it and yeah. everyone around you begins to do things for you and agrees to everything, you stop growing as a person. Yeah. What's your thoughts? I think um, it definitely makes you stop growing as a person because I think once you get yes people around you, I think it's, I think it's, it's easier to make mistakes in terms of if someone doesn't really want to voice their actual opinion and if it's always going to be yes all the time, I just see it as you shouldn't really be around me because um, I feel like everybody should have an opinion on my team and I'm not always right and I don't know everything. So, um, um, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't mind being wrong sometimes to get it right. Where is your favourite place to be alone? Um, the studio or my bedroom. Why? Because um, the studio, sometimes I like to, if, um, if someone's just made a beat that I really love, like I want to be able to, do you know what I mean? Like. Not be alone with it as a, as a as a as opposed to, but just like I try and get what it's asking me to say on it. Do you know what I mean? And sometimes you just need to you need to kind of cut out. And sometimes I get distracted really easily. So it's nice just being alone and just being able to vibe and just go into your own world. Do you know what I mean? In the studio, in terms of music, because I feel that's when I'm at my best. Do you feel in control at the moment? I definitely feel like I have a lot of control, but. Um, just as much control as everybody else, I think. As um, as I said, you know, I mean, the week is not the week is not just a single person. It's like a team of people that make me the week. So I have to liaise with those people every day, and um, obviously I'm the guy that goes out to front to front everything in terms of like the songs and everything. So I definitely feel you have to have some sort of control to in order to be a happy artist, and I think that's what my label and the people around me allow me to be, do you know what I mean? The best the week can be. Taking yourself out of the moment right now, how do you feel about things? Um, I definitely feel this is just, this is just like the tip of the iceberg. I'd say if I was looking at the week from like the outside, I definitely think um, taking myself out at the equation, I'd probably think looking from the outside in, I'd say, um, there's a lot, like, there's a lot more growth to happen, and um, there's a lot more magic in terms of music. I think um, I could bring to the table, and just, I think um, this is just the start of the journey, just the beginning, and I think um, it's gonna grow into something special. Have you changed? Have I changed? I think I've changed, but for the better, definitely. I think. Um, Everybody changes every day um, with the decisions that you have to make, um, lessons learned, lessons being learned that you've learned along the way, the hardships, the good times, the bad times. So I think it just, as you go on, you um, become a better person, I think, and just grow in terms of being a person. When was the last time you cried? When was the last time I cried? Um, probably playing Black Ops. I didn't cry, but um, 
there's, a, there's like a level on it that um, was really frustrating me um, to the point where I had to sleep for a little while to calm myself down and then get back on it. So, yeah, Black Ops. If you could listen to someone's conversation anywhere in the world, whose would it be? If I could. Listen to anyone's conversation anywhere in the world, whose would it be? Um, it would probably be Kanye West. Why? Um, the reason why it would be Kanye West because I don't actually think I think um, if um, I think sometimes he has a hard time like ex explaining himself in t in terms of because um, I think he's he's a person with a lot to say but like a very creative mind and I think sometimes it's not always people don't always like help it, like I don't think he's always portrayed in the right way but he's someone that I would like to actually sit down and and just you know what I mean have a sit down and talk to him because I think he might he's actually like uh, like borderline genius, I think, personally. What moment changed you? Um, what moment changed me? Um, I think when Love Drunk came out, because I felt like it was a real, a real like, like step towards closer to like making my dreams happen. And I think like, just in terms of being able to say like, I've had like a first single out, as an artist, like not many artists get to say that, and do you know what I mean, and 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 get the love that I received for the song, in terms of when it was when it was when it came out, I think was really um was really like a moment that kind of changed my life, kind of thing to actually think, yeah, like I can actually really do this, probably. You know. What makes someone successful? What makes someone successful? I guess um, fulfilling your dreams. I think that's like I think that's what success is to me. Have you succeeded? I feel like um, I feel like I'm succeeding. I'd say, not in terms of succeeded, but I feel like I'm succeeding. What is the aim for your career? What is the aim for my career? Um, just to touch more people with my music, and um, and just to inspire others the way some have inspired me, like the artists that I look up to, um, Jay Z, Beyonce, um, Kanye West, Jasmine Sullivan. Um, I don't know, Usher, Justin Timberlake, do you know what I mean? Just be able to be in their position one day where someone is t sitting here talking about me, like how I talk about them, I guess. Quote a song or a poem of your choice? A song or a poem of my choice? Um, quote a song of my choice, wow. Um, Brandy, I tried. How do you feel about the music you're making right now? I think um, this album and the music that I'm making right now is um, definitely, um, as I've called it, identity. I definitely feel it's the first piece of identity that I'm putting out as myself, um, music-wise, because I think it's very me, like very diverse. I don't think, um, in terms of music, I don't think um, I don't like to be pigeonholed in, into one kind of genre of music because I feel that um, good music is good music, and I feel like the album has a lot of good music on it um, and songs for everyone in terms of you're about to go out, um, being out, having a great time, um, songs to listen to when you're down, um, party music, do you know what I mean, um, slow jams for the girls and stuff like that. So I think um, it definitely caters to every audience and I think it's definitely an album you should have. What's in your pockets? What's in my pockets? My phones, my car keys. Can we see? Yeah, you can. <laughs> um, and my iPod, I can feel it right now. So, um, my iPod. Um, <laughs> my Blackberry. My other phone. And um, I've got money, but it's not really. And my car keys. Does the good guy win? Does the good guy win? Not always, not always. The good guy doesn't always win, but um, more time. More, more, I think most of the time he does. What is your favourite part of a woman's body? Um, I'd say the face. What are you afraid of? What am I afraid of? I'm afraid of um, I'm afraid of failing. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. Make music for yourself or music to expand your fan base for myself and hope that it expands my fan base. How do you approach a challenge? 
look at all the pros and cons. What's been the lowest part of your career thus far? The lowest part of my career? Um, probably like some of the decisions that I've had to make. Um, uh, do you know what I mean? Like um, having belief in people or, or, or sometimes having a decision that doesn't please everyone. Like having to be a man and, and st stand on your own two feet and actually making decisions that are not easy um, to say no to, do you know what I mean, or yes to, and stuff like that. I'd say those, but I don't think um, I've had really um, like a low kind of point, do you know what I mean? Because um, I, I, feel, I feel like I have a very supportive family, a very supportive team, um, being Sony RCA, and um, the people that kind of help me on my day-to-day -day basis of what, like, fulfilling the week's dream. So I don't think I've had that many lows, so. What is your first thought to the word friends? Um, hard, good ones are hard to come by. Do you believe in God? Yeah, definitely. God is the reason why I'm here. Um, God gave me the family that I have, um, the talent that I'm blessed with, I think. And um, yeah, God all the way. What do you regret? Um, What do I regret? Um, maybe one time, maybe not standing up for what I believed in. How do you know when you're in love? Um, how do I know when I'm in love? I don't really know. Sometimes I don't really know. It's a bit... Um, how do I explain? I don't know. Like I'm really into like personality. I'm a sucker for pretty faces as well, but personality. I like to have a laugh and joke um, more than anything else. You have to be... If I can connect with you, like, personality-wise, then, yeah, I usually know when I, when I don't want to not be around you, do you know what I mean? So, um, when I always want to be around that person, so I think that's kind of when you can indicate that. Are you now? Am I now? No, I'm not now. What has been your defining moment so far? What has been my defining moment so far? I don't think I've had it yet. How would you like to be remembered? As, um, just a good person. When is the perfect time to say goodbye? Um, never. Yo, this is Louis Kessian and you're watching DropoutUK.com and make sure you go out and get my single Stuttering out on January the 30th and you can catch my story at Twitter dot com forward slash the week SCN and also the same for Facebook forward slash the week SCN. Take it easy, peace. I'm stood up